What is going on guys, it's Knives here and today we're going to be reviewing Corona Zero. Just when we thought the temperatures were about to go down, they've shot back up to 30 degrees and on a day like this there is nothing better than an ice cold beer out in the sun. If you're like me, you end up having too many beers and you end up feeling like crap, which is why on a day like this it's good to reach for an alcohol free version every now and again. I used to be the guy that didn't understand alcohol free beer, I thought you may as well just have a pop but i'm not that guy anymore in fact i actually quite like alcohol free beer so we're just going to go over the packaging first so to me and i'm sure to everybody else it just looks like a normal corona apart from having dark blue on there they've got it in light blue and it says zero percent instead of I don't know, four point whatever that corona is to me it looks pretty much almost exactly the same obviously apart from the light blue They've kept it simple, they've kept it clean, and they've just put a big 0, 0.0 on the front there so that you know it's the alcohol-free version. As far as beers go, I'd say it looks slightly better than some, so I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 for the packaging. Nothing else to do but crack it open. And a mess of that. <laughs> I'm not going to be pouring this out into a glass because it's already in glass, so I'm just going to take a sip. I also don't have any lime wedges, unfortunately, but... For some reason, whether it be right or wrong, I I can give or take the lime, to be honest. Sometimes I think, I think it makes it taste weird. I think it takes the carbonation out of it sometimes, but that's just me. It's personal preference. Do what you want. Cheers. Corona's never my go-to, to be honest with you. I drank too much of it gave myself a pretty bad hangover more than a few years ago now but it's never been my go-to the same with any of the mexican style beers like you're supposed to put a lime in sol that's the only other one i can think of right now um modelo i don't know if you put lime in modelo or not but the mexican style lagers i i don't really care for corona isn't my go-to like i said so um I didn't think this was ever going to be my favourite, but we'll go back in for another try. It tastes like beer. It tastes like Corona. I'm not really tasting much difference, to be honest. There is a very subtle difference, which is where I'm assuming the alcohol has been taken out. But it, it tastes just like Corona. I reckon I could happily drink a few of these. It looks like a beer, it tastes like a beer, the glass bottle makes it feel like you're drinking just a normal Corona, there's nothing wrong with the flavour, it's, it's just fine. It was never going to be a 10 out of 10 from me because like I said before, Corona's not my favourite, but it's definitely not bad, in fact it's one of the better alcohol free lagers that I've tried. I'm going to go ahead and give the Corona Zero a 7 out of 10. I did consider giving it a little bit lower, maybe a 5.5 to a 6, but honestly I'm quite enjoying it. I keep repeating it, but I, I feel like I do need to stress it. Corona and Spanish, Spanish? It's not Spanish. Ugh. Corona and other Mexican style lagers are never going to be my favourite. I'm never going to pick them over something else, but this is doing a very good job for an alcohol free beer. It tastes like the real thing. It doesn't taste exactly the same, but it tastes like a Corona, which is all you can ask for, really. 7 out of 10 for the Corona Zero. If you like this video, leave a like, leave me a comment telling me if you've tried Corona Zero or what beer, alcohol free or not, to try next. Subscribe for more videos. Peace.